The change in designation to the month of older persons is in keeping with the internationally accepted reference to persons 60 years and older, says Minister with Responsibility for Social Development, Gloria Thomas. The Universal Declaration on Human Rights, which was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly 75 years ago, was the first document to articulate that the fundamental human rights of all persons, including older persons, must be universally protected. Today, October 1st, 2023, marks the 33rd commemoration of the United Nations International Day of Older Persons. The Month of Older Persons will put a spotlight on the older persons in Grenada, addressing violations on their rights and the strengthening of solidarity through equality and mutuality between generations offering sustainable solutions. Minister Thomas outlined the activities planned for the month, which kicked off with a church service on Sunday. Activities planned for the Month of Older Persons begins with a church service at 8.30 a.m. on October 1st at St. Joseph Roman Catholic Church, St. David's. Other activities include a wellness activity at two selected geriatric homes on October 9th. A consecration service for centenarians at 10 a.m. on October the 15th at the Springs Evangelical Church Two public forums to be held on October 18 at the St. John's Anglican Primary School and on October 23rd at the St. Paul's Community Center and a mental health session on October 24th with geriatric caregivers. The theme for the year 2023 is fulfilling the promise of Universal Declaration of Human Rights of Older Persons Across Generations. Therefore, in recognition of this achievement and acknowledging that there is a need to ensure that human rights and freedoms of all persons are realized, the theme fulfilling the promise of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights for Older Persons Across Generations was chosen by the United Nations for the 2023 observance of International Day of Older Persons. For Jimmy News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.